welcome back everyone, it's me Picky Gamer here. Welcome back to more Mutants Genetic Gladiators news. So guys, uh, a lot of news to cover. We'll dive straight into it. Just uh, let you know though, before we continue, all my news comes from the Facebook page, Poc Reveal. As always, his link and things like that are in the description down below. If you want to follow him for the news, get it before I get the video out to you. Be my guest. I, he normally gets it out a day before me anyway because by the time he starts getting out it's like 11 p.m here and i'm just dead tired anyway guys a lot of news to cover we're going to dive straight into it back for the first first out of the two, two upcoming weeks uh back for 24 hours minute each day we'll run through them one by one big shot of mutosterone discount uh, not important limited offer we got a necro box here no brain no gain so three mutants for gold Buy two, get one free, level four speed orbs. Really good. Highly recommend getting those. I definitely will be. Limited offer, best time to buy gold in the game. If you like to buy gold, if you like to spend real money, best time to get it, limited offers. And then you get uh, three gold stars for the price of one. That's also another good one. Like I said, like I've said in the past, uh, gold stars are more valuable than platinum because gold stars aren't guaranteed. You're not guaranteed to make... Well, you are guaranteed to make a gold star mutant, but you're not guaranteed to possibly make the one that you're hoping to get if they, if you catch my drift. Newer players, what I mean by that is, is if you're trying to get a gold star um, still garden, you're going to have a, a silver still garden, and then you're going to have another mutant with a mythological genome, and you're trying to get a gold star uh still garden but you may not you may have to try it three or four times hence why gold stars are more valuable because a platinum star you need two gold versions of the mutant to make a platinum and that's a guarantee so that's why i feel and it's a fact gold stars are more valuable limited offer you got the cyber box the next week guys back for 24 hours as per usual mutants each day we'll run through them one by one Black and white, three mutants for gold. Looks like they're panda related mutants. Buy two, get one free. Level five bleed orbs. Uh, finally back, uh, that's research seven uh, box. So that will be available for some gold. You got 50 jackpot tokens available, I believe for gold this time. So it's normally worth picking it up unless you're someone that doesn't have a gold forge or furnace going to produce your gold, then gold's more valuable than the jackpot tokens, just FYI. Exclusive offer, so you can get uh, Or in there. However, that's if you're very new, you've just missed out on getting him for free. <laughs> but it's a good mutant, very squishy though, but a good mutant still. Yeah, I just, if you're new and you haven't got it, I feel sorry for you because he was just available for free <laughs> a week ago. Um, absorbing souls so you get a level four boost ability and a level five boost orb pretty good i i like boost one of my favorite categories boost and shield okay guys so before we get into uh the details of those weeks what we have here is fight club cyber only so that's the middle inside the pit the middle uh, segment the is it experiment I don't know, but it's a fight club. You've got the mutant ED404 available in there and you're only allowed to use cyber mutants. So that's a little bit more challenging. You know, it's it's changing the way and that we use our mutants and we've got to use just dedicated cyber mutants, which is, which is interesting and cool. So, you know, makes me really have to try to work up and level up those... Uh, cyber mutants and then you got uh 80 days available or oh, the the what is it Vern's world okay so this is the uh oh, i can't think of it oh, it's raid guys so where it was it was called dante's inferno it's the raid it's just actually got as of this recording uh it's probably got about two days and 20 hours to go so new updated mute and new mutants going to be put in there. We'll look into that in more details in, in the next clip. Uh, but that's going to be available for 80 days. So you've got a long time to do it. 
Uh, that 80 days is probably for much more lower uh, level people, but even for me, um, to get the mutant, it's still fairly easy. I don't think I have to use a tag to get the mutant, but then to go beyond the mutant, I'd have to, I have to use tags, really good ones, and I don't really have that many. You may think I do, but not to compete in the uh, raid tournament. So. For the Fire Club, you've got, as I said, ED404 available as long as the, uh, as, as long, as well as these other goodies, the XP, Jackpot Tokens, Stars, Shield Orb, and then the Mutant if you haven't got it. And then, so in the raid, this is what we've got, guys. This is a new Mutant. We'll talk about the new Mutant uh, in the next page as well. So this is what's available for it. So obviously there's a lot of goodies, a lot of stars, four stars, gold stars, really good. I like the fact that they're gold stars and, a, and then you've got a platinum chucked in there. So that's really good. I'd prefer to see more gold stars than platinum. Very good job Celsius on that, I'm going to say. Uh, let's see, you got XP jars, fine. We'll take those. Level four retaliate orb ability. That's pretty good. Uh, and then the mutant at about 160, and then you get a jackpot token 185, and then at 200 you get this new token. Now, I don't think we know what this is used for yet. So, yeah, at the moment, like I'm definitely going to go get it because that's something new, and we'll we'll see what it's a what what's going to come of that. No idea, but if you know, let let us know in the description in the description in the comments down below, and we'll all look at that. Even me. Okay, so this new mutant's right here. It's a robot uh, saber mutant. So that's uh, that's what it is. It's got curse effect, but I believe I believe someone said they looked at the 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 mutant pedia. Uh, where is the mutant pedia? There it is. So he is robot and saber. Has it been updated yet? Um, Oh, there he is. Um, huh. Very interesting. I'll take a screenshot of that on my phone and I'll chuck it up on the screen. But in the Mutantpedia, it doesn't show curse, which I was like, okay, I can deal with curse. It's showing bleed. So that's that's very interesting to know, guys. So I'm, I'm more inclined to believe the game than this image. That it's bleed. Anywho, so. but this image is showing curse, so I don't know which way to go. If it's, I'd prefer curse over bleed, personally. Okay, so uh, robot saber Gino doesn't look like to be a spread attack, just singles attacks. His speed's four point three five, which is pretty good. That's in the really good range. Uh, health is that a little low? I don't know. Well, again, we'll have to get the mutant work on him and try and get a video out on him if I can ever do that uh, okay but that's what he looks like in the stages and then people were having jokes and this i got this from hammer king he may not have made this i don't know he may may have uh but um oh it's hammer hd sorry <laughs> um no no not hammer it's hammer king no sorry um yeah i got this picture from his facebook <laughs> uh, facebook post and it's like my daughter my father <laughs> and all that so they look very much alike, and I'm not, yeah, I, I'm not denying that they don't as well. They they look very similar. However, I look closer at the face, and I'm seeing a similarity, like I'm seeing similarities with Steel Garden and Mimi together. Like, did they make a child and they grow up to be this? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's what it is, and it's like my daughter, my father, and then Celsius online <laughs> swearing. Uh, yeah, so I thought that was funny anyway. So guys, as I said, we needed to clear that, but let's dive into all the details of the uh, upcoming Fortnite here. So 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, you got these mutants available. I haven't got that Pinky and the Brain one. But I know it's not called Pinky and the Brain, but that's what I'm calling it because that's just what it reminds me of. Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? Well, I think so, Brain, but pantyhose are so uncomfortable in the summertime. But uh, yeah, you know, I'll probably pick that up for credit because credit's pretty much free. Uh, none of those mutants top tier, but again, same as per usual. If you haven't got the credit mutants, go and get them because they're just credits are nothing, you know, easier than gold. Um, 10th, 11th, and 12th, you got these available. Uh, I Cosmo Panda's pretty good. 
If you haven't got Cosmo Panda, I used that for quite a while before I got top tier mutants. Cosmo Panda is pretty good. Uh, so, but again, uh, if you haven't got him, get him because he's just credits. Also, during the first week, you got these stuff available there. The Mutostrone, you got the Necro Box available, you got these three mutants, that includes the Pinky and the Pain character. Again, none of those are top tier, so I'd probably say stay away from it, especially with how much that's worth. Because we all know, and as I've always reminded you guys, new mutants that come out are normally worth 3,000 gold, and I think we're going to need 3,000 gold in the coming future. Watch the end of the video for that to be continued. And then you got the buy two, get one free level four speed orbs. I'm definitely going to be purchasing one of those. Uh, you got this heroic mutant, and then you got a cyber box, and then the gold stars. Make sure you pick up the gold stars too. So we are spending a little bit of gold this fortnight, guys. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Those gold stars are extremely valuable. Uh, are they more so valuable than the speed? Oh, the speed's really good, though. They're both equally as good as themselves. Uh, probably the speed's really good if you, you know, when you get the, the mutants that you like. Especially the speed mutant that most people use. Speed and then two tanks. And then you've got the uh, limited offer. Um, 1,000, 4,000, 10,000 for 5, 20, and 50 dollars respectively. If I normally get it, it's I normally just grab the $5, the $5 pack just to get 1,000 gold just to help out. And then the next week, guys, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, you've got these mutants available. That um, Haggis mutant has the 14th slash 05, which obviously that's meant to be 06, so there's a little typo there. But uh, again, he's the only one that you got to look out for. If you haven't got him, you get him for credits. Uh, the others, not worth getting with gold because they're not top, top tier mutants. 17th, 18th, and 19th, you've got these mutants. Um, not a top tier that little, that fish looking dude used to be really good. Uh, we're talking back in the days when uh, um, Big Boss used to be good and he was like the direct competitor to Big Boss. Um, like, yeah, you'd use him to take down the Big Boss pretty good actually. But not anymore, so I wouldn't want to waste the gold on it, just FYI. Plus, if you're a long term player, you probably would have that mutant anyway. Uh, buy two, get one free. Level five bleed orbs. Eh, bleed orbs, not a fan. But if you are, there you go. Uh, research seven, uh, seven hundred and fifty gold per summon. It's a lot of gold for just you know what one of thirty six mutants you can get or so. I definitely will be picking up the uh, fifty jackpot tokens for four hundred gold. So I'm going to be spending a lot of gold this fortnight. Because uh, again, that just helps out when the exchange office changes its mutants. And then you got the uh, the health orbs or the the healing orb ability and the healing um, orb, nine hundred gold. Um, again, healing isn't the best. I prefer shield over healing, just because you know it's the same. But you can he you can have more shield past your health. You can't overheal yourself if you catch my drift. So you got these uh, these black and white pandas available for two thousand three hundred eighty gold. Not worth it. As a, and you know we're getting Cosmo Panda for credits anyway. Uh, you got Oran available, and it's is it Oran? No, it's showing another mutant too for two dollars. Okay, well I don't even think I have that. I might spend the two dollars, but normally I don't like to spend. The, well, I'd, if I do spend money, it's just to get gold. You know the thousand gold. That's that's when I would like like to spend the money. But I don't think I've got that first mutant. But again, Oran, you know you're not going to spend twenty five dollars on him. You just wait to become available for credits or available in the competition area in the experiment like he was but probably won't be for a while so guys before ending off the video because that is it for those two weeks a new incoming mutant so we got this new mutant that's a necro not necro um um um, I've just had a blank blank um, mythological and uh, alien Gino uh, so that's what it looks like it reminds me of the oh, I didn't write down the information because I thought thought it would be on there I thought I'd remember um, I can't think of them but it looks like a cross between two mutants to me it's almost like a uh, I can't think of its name it's on the tip of my tongue because I did used to use it 
can't think of it. But well, that that's what's available. We don't know. I don't know any more information. That's what it looks like. And again, guys, if this is going to be a new mutant available available for gold, you can bet your bottom dollar it's going to be for, for three thousand gold. Just FYI. And I do like the fact that they're bringing out more and more new mutants, which is really good. I would just like you know fifty plus percent of them to be like top tier mutants so it makes you really want to use them not just like oh here's this mutant well still garden's better so i'm still going to use still garden uh, you know i don't I don't expect every single mutant to be the best that comes out but you know maybe 50 percent or more of them to be the best that comes out that that way it encourages us to buy them and put in the effort to level them up and use them straight away but you know you can you can probably guess that he's going to have either a curse or a boost ability that will come along with him anyway guys that is it for this fortnight with the news <laughs> for mutants genetic gladiators so guys um interesting week there's a there's quite a few stuff you probably need to buy uh looking forward to the new uh the raid the new raid uh i'll probably get back and i might start streaming with that who knows but um i put a poll up a couple of days ago on do you guys want me to stream or not and like eight percent of you were saying yes so i'll probably get back and doing that guys anyway thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you want to go that little extra further help your buddy pick you out feel free to share this video on any social media platform or form as you see fit thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you all next time Bye.